everybody here we are back in the old uh, cold frozen workshop <laughs> back to normal just going to do a few um, a few serving bowls that uh, someone's asked me to do very cold clay nice warm water Nice to be back on my old uh, my old wheel. To be honest with you, Brian Hollander's studio I've been using recently very kindly let me use this, uh, this studio. But you like your own wheel, I think. It's you get used to it. But this is literally the first pot I've thrown in this. Uh, in the studio now for well, since November last year and it's now middle of January so it's nice to get back these are just some uh, simple serving bowls really someone's asked me to do them for them nice and big to hold uh, stew and soups. And I've got some of this uh, nice toasted smooth um, clay. I'm just going to throw some some GP balls. It's good to go back to the basics, I think. And get caught up with all the arty stuff. Just a little uh, thing that I've noticed with my pots, well, pots that I've made, is if this is a serving bowl um, for soup and whatever, um, I try to make the lip just bend in slightly here rather than flare out and the reason for that is when you're using a spoon when you're using a spoon and you're holding it when you're scooping stuff out it, the lip pushes it onto your spoon so a uh, little bit of a tip for functionality there get the inside of this right nice and smooth Let me just tip the lip in like that. Okay, number one. Nice new. Wire. I can not get it in a knot, I guess. Cold fingers. I've got a uh, oil heater behind me here, but it's a bit of a token gesture, to be honest. Woo! It's a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Bottom of that's too thin. I could feel it when I took it off then. Sometimes when uh, when clay is cold, you won't have this problem, Janice. In sunny Florida. <laughs> when clay is cold, it sometimes feels stiffer than it is. And when you come to throw it and it gets warmed up with warm water, 
Ball's all sort of floppy and not very nice. Which I think this might do. And it's got a slightly thicker base this one. A bit better. So when I'm concentrating, can't you? I shut up. Again, just tip, just tip the edge inwards a little bit, and um, gives it that functionality, doesn't it? What helps the function of the pot? Of the rim. One more for risk of boring you. I've uh, stalled a little bit on the kiln, the gas kiln, because I'm not sure about the chimney. I'll do a little video of that, I think, just to show you what I'm on about. But, um, I can't get in my mind, I can't get the chimney, the chimney right. I know it doesn't have to be very tall, the chimney, because it's gas fired. It doesn't have to have a draw on it. But um, so I thought I'd do a bit of throwing. It'll come to me. Usually about four o'clock in the morning. I'm having a bit of an epiphany about it. I'll come down and sort it out that day. it in slightly.
It's nice to be back in my old studio, I must admit. Feel at home a little bit more. Right, okay. More next time. See you soon.